handle the required readings. Okay? Don't just depend on the presentation because the presentation does not have everything in, in the readings. It have only the, uh, the, the, the main points, only the main points. So this reading, reading number 12, is, about, uh, is named the competitive advantage of nations. And this is a very good uh, reading. Um, this is an article written by uh, Porter, Michael Porter. And he is one of the most famous persons in strategy. And somebody called him the, the father, the father of the strategy. Al-Ab al-Ruhi li al-Strategy, Strategy. Michael Porter, is, uh, he's a doctor in Harvard University. Doctor fi Jamaat Harvard. And he's one of the most famous writers and the most famous thinkers in the strategy field. Yani one of the, the, the models, and we will see this model, the, the diamond model, we will see it in this reading, the diamond model. So now um, uh, we will have some points in the, in the reading, and you just see those points and go back to the, the reading, uh, read it carefully. Try to see what are the major points. I will say Porter argued, the first thing, uh, the first Porter argued that a nation's competitiveness depends on capacity of its industry to innovate and upgrade. And this is a very important uh, note, very important observation. And by the way, this observation is not an easy uh, conclusion. He, he did a very deep analysis to most of the nations, most of the, the companies, uh, sorry, most of the countries, and tried to find what are the differences between the uh, uh, developing nations and non-developing nations. Okay, خلوني بس أتكلم شوية بالعربي على موضوع الاستراتيجية وموضوع بورتر مايكل بورتر وطبعاً مايكل بورتر يعني يعتبر واحد من الأوائل واحد من الناس المهمين جداً جداً اللي تكلموا عن موضوع الاستراتيجية. Okay. بعض الناس يسميه الأب الروحي للاستراتيجية هو دكتور في جامعة هارفارد تكلم كثيرا عن موضوع الاستراتيجية له نماذج عميقة جدا وقوية جدا تفسر تفسر يعني ما هي الأمور اللي يعني تؤثر في الاستراتيجية وبالذات في استراتيجية اللي هي إيش تقدم الأمم كيف كيف إيش الفرق بين الأمم المتقدمة والأمم النائمة تمام ما هي الفروق بينهم الشركات في داخل المجتمعات okay the companies inside the nations can benefit from strong domestic rivals Aggressive home-based suppliers, demanding local customers. هذه مقدمة. This is an introduction. This is an introduction to the diamond model. هذه مقدمة للموديل اللي هو حق الدايموند حق بورتر. حنتكلم عن الموديل هذا. حنشوفه. طيب. According to Porter, firms become competitive through innovation. زاد هذا الكلام اللي قلناه أول. إنه إنه الابتكار هو اللي المحرك ل يعني آآ آآ اعطاء ميزه تنافسيه للامم طيب بورتر يوز الدايموند شيب ديجرام از ذا بيسس اوف فريم ورك تو الستريت 
the determinants of national advantage. طيب, this is uh, also about the diamond. Let me see, let me show you the, the diamond. Yeah, here uh, Porter discuss the Japanese autom automaker uh, or auto market. Okay, خلينا نقول عليها اللي هي سواق السيارات اليابانية. I remember, of course, this is before my my age. I'm still young. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, long time ago, since the first cars, the first Japanese cars come to Saudi market, okay, a lot of people did not buy it. They said that, oh, Japanese cars, we do not prefer Japanese cars. Okay, we don't want it. We don't like it. And most of the people at that time, they uh, depend mainly on the American uh, companies or, or uh, German German uh, companies. So you know now you know that the Japanese company, the Japanese mark uh, cars are the best cars. Okay, the Japanese cars. How can Japan? How can they reach this very high level of uh, loyalty from the customers? Okay by better product quality, better repair records, better customer satisfaction. Okay? They try to work on this, these three, um, three um, objectives, or three goals. How did they reach these goals? By building modern plants بنو آه يعني مصانع كبيرة جدا وحديثة وأيضا إيش سووا innovating in process technology بمعنى أنهم ابتكروا يعني ركزوا على موضوع الابتكار ابتكروا أمور جديدة إلى أن وصلوا ل يعني one of, one of the most important uh, concepts in the operations which is just in time or jet production okay just in time is one of the most famous uh, methodology in productions and this is referred usually to Japanese companies وهذا يعني ما ودي أتكلم كثير على الجت just in time أو jet, uh, jet uh, production يعني ممكن ترجعوا له أنتو okay. you can refer back to the jet or just in time production you can read about it in the internet or in the article okay you read about just in time um, I'm just here try to give you some important points about the reading طيب, this is about the Japanese uh, market طيب, two main prerequisites for sustaining competitive advantage the first one is adopting global approach for strategy that means making uh, benchmarking or see the best um, the best practice in the companies in the in the, the strategy field and creating more sustainable advantages sustainable advantage okay so if you if you if you read uh, if you had taken uh, 306 which is uh, 306b it's about sustainable development or sustainable advantage that means they think of the future they they do not focus mainly on the present but they they think of the future how can we reach the future in a good uh, situation Company must make its existing advantage obsolete even while it's still an advantage. Like the mobile phone. Type. So, uh, of course, achieving internal international competitive success depends on how companies use the resources and skills. The company's goal should be 
defined in a very good way based on the future success and based on the sustainable development. The pressure, the pressure of invest and innovate. So that means uh, also the innovation means a lot of things to organization, organization success. Let me go ahead. Type this is this is the the diamond. Let me show you. This is the diamond, the diamond uh, model, diamond model. Diamond, uh, as you can see, it's like the diamond shape, and it has four main uh, parts. The first part is about the context for firm strategy and rivalry. This is the first point. The second point is about, or here, here. Let, let us go from here to here. The, the second point about factor or input conditions. The, first, the third point about the supporting industries. And the last point about the demand. Porter here in this model, try to summarize the success of any company. That means the success of any company depends on those four, uh, four uh, uh, factors. The first factor is about the context or the strategy. The second one is about the input. Of course, if there is no input in the company, that means there is no output. What do we mean by input? Human resource, capital resource, physical infrastructure, administrative infrastructure. All of these things, we can consider them as input to the company. And also related to supporting industries. So supporting industries like what? Like the um, related fields or suppliers. Suppliers, most of the time, if we do not have suppliers, then we cannot make the final products. Of course, here the suppliers are very important in our success. Okay? And demand conditions. Of course, if there is no customers, if there is no customers, that means we do not have any um, success so the local customers local customers need that anticipate those elsewhere unusual local demand so mainly the customers here in this part and here mainly those parts those uh, um, uh, inputs but what about the strategy and rivalry strategy means the uh, investment and sustained upgrading, intellectual property protection, all of these parts related to the uh, strategy, firm strategy. So this is the diamond uh, model, the diamond model. Type. These are some um, uh, يعني, uh, illustration, يعني هذه بعض التوضيحات للدايموند موديل يعني احنا في الـ في الريدنج هذا اوكي مينلي نتكلم عن الدايموند موديل الدايموند موديل اللي فيه الاربعه الاقسام او الاربعه الاجزاء اللي تكلمنا عنها تمام اول شيء الكمباني استراتيجي والرايفالري ايش معناته رايفالري معناتها الـ الـ الشركات الاخرى اللي تقوم بنفس العمل يعني الكومبيتيتورز بشكل عام او هل مثلا هل هناك يعني منافسه قويه ولا منافسه ضعيفه في السوق؟ اوكي هذه النقطه الاولى، النقطه الثانيه اللي هي موضوع الانبوتس الريسورسز الموارد اذا لم تتوفر الموارد المناسبه للشركه لن تقوم بعملها بشكل جيد ولن تنجح في عملها. طيب الموارد هذه زي ايش؟ كل جميع انواع الموارد، الموارد الطبيعيه، الموارد البشريه، الموارد المالية كل الموارد الانفراستراكشر اللي هي البنية التحتية يعني 
كل هذه الموارد لابد أنها تكون متوفرة لأي شركة عشان تنجح في صنع ميزة تنافسية competitive advantage تمام؟ النقطة الثالثة اللي هي موضوع إيش؟ موضوع النقطة الثالثة موضوع related and supporting industries اللي هم الصناعات المساعدة للشركة إذا ما كان في موردين جيدين لن تنجح الشركة في أعمالها وبالتالي هذه نقطة مهمة لنجاح الشركة في competitive advantage والنقطة الأخيرة اللي هي موضوع الديماند الطلب إذا لم يكن هناك طلب لمنتجات الشركة لم يكن هناك طلب يعني جيد طلب واضح لمنتجات الشركة لن تنجح الشركة في صنع ميزة تنافسية وبالتالي هذه الأربع الأقسام أو الأربع الأركان اللي نسميها الدايموند موديل دايموند موديل اللي هو شكل الدايموند تمام هذا هو موضوع هذه يعني هذا ال 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 اللي تشوفوه أمامكم الرسمة هذه اللي تشوفوه أمامكم أمامكم هي خلاصة الريدنج هذا إذا تبغى تفهم الريدنج هذا افهم هذه الرسمة بشكل جيد